How's it going, everybody? Chris from Crispy's Toys and Treasures here, and I'm getting you another video. Two, two days. Two days in a row. Two days in a row. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Um, so, obviously, the videos are popping up a little bit more often. I hope to keep it up that way. I'm trying to do a little bit better with the quality of the videos. Um, the editing is was improved on the last one. Hopefully, you guys got a chance to watch that last one. I do need your push from you guys to keep me in line and get me cleaning all that stuff up that I showed you in the video. All of my profit pile, death pile, whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, anyway, so yeah, so obviously I, I think I need to work on the lighting a little bit, the lighting in this room. I mean, as you see, it's a pretty bright room. You know, I've got the, uh, got the piano. I did it again. <laughs> got the piano. Piano right here. <laughs> it's lit up pretty good. We got some good <laughs> coming in the windows. We got some good light. But <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, there's no fire in the fireplace, I don't think. Let me check behind me. I don't think there's any fire in the... Oh, I turned the wrong way again. <laughs> I'll figure this out. <laughs> um, anyway, we're getting on to December sales. So December sales were... The best I've ever, the best month I have ever had on eBay, um, and that topped off the best year I've ever had on eBay. It was actually the third month in a row, October of this year. So basically, it was a great fourth quarter. October was my best month ever, and November topped that. December topped November. So, and then it just steamrolled into this being the best year I've ever had on eBay by far. I was twenty eight percent over sales from last year. Um, and, and again, I, I hope this can, I, I know that I, I doubt very much that I can, you know, top January is probably not going to be December because just because January slows down a little bit, but just barely, um, missed hitting 10 K I've never had $10,000 in sales in one month. And that, so that's going to be one of my goals for 2022. I really do want to be able to hit that. Um, and I know there's a lot of things I need to do to get there, but that's something I'm really striving for. So, uh. Anyway, without further ado, let's bring you guys some of the highlights from stuff that I sold in December. Um, there's some bolos in here. There's some stuff from bulk purchases that I had. Just one of the reasons why I make bulk purchases. Um, there was even an RA item that I had that uh, I didn't share in November, even though that was one of my top sales in November, just because I was still buying them, still selling them. But I will share it now. So first up, not everything is a home run. So this actually was my lowest sale of the month. I did only have eight transactions under ten dollars. Um, this was one of them. Sold actually just a few days ago, right at the end of the month for seven. I did put my store on sale, or I put a lot of the stuff on sale um, right after Christmas. Uh, I think around the 29th. Uh, this sold for seven fourteen plus shipping. But this came from that huge diecast collection that I purchased uh, last summer. So I've had my money back from this collection a long time ago. So selling any one car out of this collection now for $7, it's okay because I have made so much money already off this collection. This is all profit at this point. So, and it's getting something out of there. So I definitely don't mind doing that. And that's why, like I said, that's why I buy these bulk purchases. Now here is another one. Um, a couple people that watch the videos that we see you around on YouTube, uh, Tracy and Eric, Eric Hughes and Tra 1987 Tracy, um, they were with me when we went to a church uh, rummage sale over the summer, and I picked up a box of CDs. The sale had them a couple boxes of CDs. They wanted two dollars a piece for them. I asked them, you know, if I bought them all, can you do anything better than that? And she kind of looked at him. She said, how about $20 for all of them? So I said, um, okay. <laughs> so I, I kind of felt bad at first. Eric was looking through them, but he totally said, it's fine. Take them all. You know, I bought all three boxes of them. Didn't have any idea how many were in there. I just figured $20 was a good deal. Brought them home, counted. I believe if I remember correctly, there was 260 ish CDs that I paid only $20 for. So, and here is one right here, sold for $19.99. Why I like to buy in bulk. So here's another one. 
Um, if you follow me, especially if you follow me on Instagram, you see me posting stuff about this car stuff. At a local auction, I was buying a bunch of car dealership stuff. Here is one of the records from that. I was buying all these table lots. I bought so much stuff. It's all over in the video you saw yesterday. This is the stuff that's in the garage that I was talking about. Uh, some of this is also in the shed. I've just got so much of this car stuff, but it sells like crazy. Let me show you. Here's some of the better stuff that I sold this month. Uh, this kit, this is like a training kit, sold for $59. And then it came like a film strip, some record albums, a bunch of training brochures from the dealers. This one sold for $59.99. Here's another one from 1967 Pontiac. Again, film strip records. This one sold for $59.99. Uh, 1967 Pontiac. This one sold for $69.99. More from the bulk purchases. I got a whole bunch of gaming casino chips from Mr. Buys a Lot. I bought, uh, I want to say, 1,400 chips from him when I made a trip down to Pennsylvania. This is one of them. I actually have... I think I have about 30 more of this Casino de, de, de Capri. I've sold three of them in the last month and a half um, for $14.99. Here's another one, $39.99. I sold this month another one of those chips. So yeah, so I definitely do sell them. I probably make, again, they don't sell extremely fast. I'm actually starting to lot them up a little bit more. I maybe get a couple hundred dollars a month from them. So, you know, it's something. But that's why I like the bulk purchases. And again, here now here is one. Um, I got a whole bunch of Christmas stuff. And this is kind of, again, this is another one, 714, another lower sale I had this month. But I already had my money back from this purchase that I got this out of. And this is actually something that sold. This, this is just one of those things I wanted to show you. Christmas sells all the time, the day after Christmas. <laughs> that's when this one sold. And that's when I sold this also. A Waterford uh, crystal ornament sold for $22.49 plus shipping. That sold the day after Christmas also, or maybe the 30th or somewhere around there. Um, I know this is a horror thing, Halloween, but it's a Christmas ornament. And this also sold after Christmas, $22.99 plus shipping. And one more. And actually, ironically, this is also from Mr. Buys a Lot. I bought, I bought a whole bunch of Shackman stuff from him. This one ornament sold for $19.99 plus shipping on, I believe that was on the 31st that this one sold. So yeah, Halloween or Chris Halloween. Christmas definitely sells all the time. <laughs> I guess just right after Christmas too, people packing up their ornaments, thinking about it and stuff. So this uh this book, I wanted to show you these books. I like to buy church books and school cookbooks and local just local to wherever the book was made or whatever this is one of those types and actually this jackson cookbook from the uh symphony league of jackson apparently this has a really big following i think it's been printed a few times this particular one is from 2001 but i got it for a quarter at a yard sale i actually picked up a whole bunch of them um from at a for a quarter a piece i think i bought like five or six of these cookbooks and i've sold a few of them already so yeah i do definitely like these cookbooks like this. Usually they're spiral bound like that and they have just a lot of local recipes. People submit the recipes and stuff. I'm sure you've seen those around. Um, here is probably my best profit item of the, it took a while to sell. As you see, I sold it or I listed it on May 28th. I bought it. I was able to find this for three cents at Walmart. Um, the, the, the funny thing is the guy at Walmart almost didn't want to sell it to me. Um, or no, what, what it was, was there was three of them and I wanted to buy all three of them. He had just got done telling me that somebody came in and bought like 20 games or something like that for three cents. And then he wasn't going to sell me those. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. You just told me that somebody bought 20 games and now you're not going to sell me three for three cents each. So he's like, oh yeah, I already told you somebody else did. So I'll let you buy it. So it's like, oh, well, whatever. So <laughs> anyway, I bought, I sold one of those finally for $24.99 plus shipping. Um, it may take me another year to sell the other one, but that's okay because I only have three cents into it. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. It doesn't take up a lot of room. This is kind of cool. I threw this in this video just because I got this last time I went to Arizona at the Goodwill. Out there, if you watch me on Instagram and TikTok, you saw me buy this at a thrift store in Arizona. Um, it just sold $24.99. It's a vintage cookie press. 
I am going back to Arizona in two days. So I thought it was kind of cool that I just sold this and I am, and I actually just sold something else from the same trip uh, two days ago, some Imagine X figures I bought. And, you know, so I just thought that was kind of ironic. Now, speaking of bulk purchases, look at these magazines. If you've been following me on the other social media, you've been in even last month, I think I mentioned some of these last month because I bought them right at the end of October. So I sold a bunch of them in November. Look at the sale on this, $34.99 for this magazine. Another one, $49.99 for that three-wheeling. If you ever come across these four-wheeling, three-wheeling magazines, look at the prices, $49.99 for one magazine, $44.99, just craziness, $34.99. This one's one called Dirt Wheels. Um, what is this one? $39.99. I'm not gonna show you all of them. Um, $44.99. And then I lotted some up. Uh, oh, these are the uh, truck ones, the four-wheeler trucks. There was also, let's see, those are Peterson's, Peterson's. Uh, this is one called four-wheeler. That was uh, the whole year of, what year was that? That was 1993. Sold those for $29.99. The Peterson's, I think, yeah, I was selling for $27.99. And I'm putting those in a regional rate, flat rate box for $13 is what I'm charging for shipping on them. Um, they obviously can't go media mail, so I'm putting them in the regional rate box and uh, shipping them off. They fit perfectly in that box. Um, but anyway, so these magazines, in December alone, I've done 673.34 from these magazines. I paid $80 for this whole box, uh, four boxes. Is that what I got? Four boxes? I think there was four boxes. Uh, just over 400 magazines that I got for 80 bucks. Again, that's why I love these bulk purchases. They've so far made about $1,700 since November 1st when I started listing them off of this $80 purchase. And these magazines said four-wheeler, ATV, the, all the stuff is really hot. Um, they sell well and they sell pretty quick. I, like I said, I just started listing them in November. I have sold so many of them already. They sell rather rather fast. I don't have very many left in my... In two, the bricks, $79.99. I sold some. I bought these at a local auction. Um, and I bought a huge table. Actually, the same one I got all that car stuff from. I got a big table lot of these American plastic bricks, um, Lincoln Logs. Yeah, Lincoln Logs. Look at this Lincoln Log lot, $119.99 plus shipping for this giant. Uh, there was about 700 pieces in here. That I of Lincoln Logs that I uh, 119.99 plus 25 dollars shipping, so pretty happy about that sale. So this Lego set, I have actually sold three of these since November when I listed them. Uh, 79.99 plus shipping. This was a retail arbitrage. Bought it at clearance at Walmart over. I think probably somewhere around July. I think when they did their July clearance. So yeah, that was and that was a quick one. Every time I put, would put one of those up. Um, I think I might have sold one of them for 69 or 74. Next one I jumped up to 79. It still sold like within a week of, set of listing it. So yeah, this Frozen Frozen is still big. This Micro Machine set, 89.99. I don't think it was ever played with, uh, but the box was open. So I sold it as used. Um, and I actually said that in the description. I think, I think it's never been played with, but the box is open. It was dirty. Um, the, the, so I cleaned it up. Uh, but a lot of the pieces, if you come across this particular micro machine set, um, there's some things in here like these are usually missing, these little light posts here. A lot of the pieces that remove, uh, that bridge is usually missing, uh, that, that bench seat on top of the mountain there is usually missing. Um, so all these pieces that are usually missing were still there. It was not missing anything, so that's why I just assumed it was never played with. Um, I got $89.99 plus $24 shipping for that. Uh, look at this Christmas tree. This was a really good deal. Um, if you remember, this came from that same sale that I got that Waterford crystal. And I talked about these and found my other, you know, on Instagram and stuff. Um, you saw when I picked these up, I picked this up for $3 at a yard sale. Um, I think it was in October. I almost, it was the yard sale that I skipped on Friday because I, didn't think I wanted. Usually these Christmas sales don't have much. I went on Saturday. I wish I had gone on Friday because he had Waterford Crystal. He had Radco stuff. He had this thing here. It was all only $3 a piece. Everything was $3 each. 
Um, the Radcos I listed and they sold the day that I listed them. Um, so again, I wish I had gone to the sale on Friday, but I still did really well with the stuff that I did get. Uh, here's a bunch uh, Crispy's Toys carries new figures. I have a Reaction Super 7 contract. Um, and so I, these are new Universal Monsters that just came out. I lotted up the five of them and got $98.99 plus shipping for the five of those. So here is the book I was talking about. I was picking this up at a wholesale discount place. You can probably guess where that store is, what that store is called. I paid $60 a piece for these books. And I have sold, where is my note here on this one? I sold 15 total of these. So I paid about $900 for them. Um, I do have, obviously I'm tax free with them. So I don't pay any tax. So I paid a flat $900 for all these. They sold for $1,467.36 total. Um, they ranged in price from $84.99 for the very first one I sold, but it sold within an hour. So then, So I went back and bought another one listed the next one for $94.99. That one sold like within a day. And then I went back and bought two. Again, this book was just selling. So I wasn't making a ton of money on it, but if you could buy something for 60 and sell it for 90 or even like this 104 and it have it sell in less than 24 hours, I'm doing that all day long, every day. Um, it is just so quick and easy to ship. Just throw it in a box, get it out. It, it was just... Yes, it, it was a great deal. I bought every one that they, I could find over there every time I went over there. At the end, I bought the last six that they had just because I didn't. And those six were all gone in a week. So it was definitely a good deal. And like I said, I didn't make a ton of money on them, but it was really, really fast money. And that's what I like. Sometimes you have to spend up a little bit to make that really quick money. And it just, it, it, it was easy money, uh, easy shipping. Here's one. Uh, $179.99 for this Chucky. This was a really, really cool Chucky doll. Uh, really cool. And this is one that I actually had. There it is. I have a video in here. Um, this is one that I think it's important to make sure you add that video. I did. I actually did a video on my channel about how to add a video to your listings. And that's this is one that I did. And I think that helped sell it because you could actually hear the Chucky talking. And then my biggest sale of the month was another horror thing, of course. Nightmare Before Christmas figure sold for $224.99 plus ship. That is my December sales. Again, there's some bolos in there. There was some really cool RA stuff. You saw a little bit of why I like to do those bulk purchases. Um, and I, I still, I still, I really think those bulk purchases, I, that's just what I really love doing. I love when you can buy a huge amount of stuff, get your money back out of a few pieces in it. Sometimes it takes up a lot of space, <laughs> which is why I've ended up with as much as I have right now. But uh, but I still love those purchases and I don't think I'm going to stop doing them. <laughs> That's what I prefer. I would rather make one huge bulk purchase and work on it for a couple weeks than as much as I like going to thrift stores. You know, I'm, I guess the other option is going to a thrift store a couple times a week you know, some people go every day, I think. Um, but I just I just like those bulk purchases. Uh, and they don't come around very often. So that's why I like to jump on them when I do have the opportunity. But anyway, that's what we did in December. So I'm hoping now that I am full-time, I'm doing this for, this is what I'm doing. I'm selling, I'm branching out to other avenues to sell stuff. I need to add another, <laughs> another, wait, <laughs> Another piano. Where is it? That right there. That's my piano. <laughs> I need to add another one to the other room over by the brick wall. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for watching this video. And I hope to see you again. Please tune in. I'm going to, I have some really cool stuff coming from Arizona. When I go out to Arizona in a couple of days, I'm going to make some videos. Going to be a couple of videos in there you definitely want to see. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out from the Crispy piano. Why did I do it already? The piano room. <laughs>